Google has updated one of the aspects of their shopping ads policy as of November 2023, and I'm going to explain what the new update is and how this may impact you moving forward. So this is specifically for shopping ads and free listings that are managed through Google Merchant Center. So this is on the shopping side of things. This is something that pertains to e-commerce sites that are using shopping ads, um, although it, it could impact them even if they're not using shopping ads. And I'll explain how it could impact them on the text ad side of things as well. So Google is clarifying and further breaking out segmenting an existing policy that they have. The existing policy is called malicious or unwanted software policy. And here's what the policy currently reads. Um, it's kind of one heading of malicious or unwanted software. And it doesn't uh, want you advertising your website if you have what they define as malicious software or malware, or if you have what they define as unwanted software, or if your site is compromised. And what they're doing in this update is they're breaking this out into three specific policy subsections. So first of all, malicious software, they are narrowing the scope of what they mean by this. And this one word here, I think is very important, intentional distribution. So essentially they're saying, hey, if we flag you for malicious software, we are saying that you are intentionally, either through your website or in a website that you link to, providing malicious software or malware that is going to harm users who are clicking through Google listings to reach your website. And therefore they are suspending you for that. And they are saying that that is an egregious violation. Now that's super serious. Um, it doesn't mean that it's necessarily something you can't come back from. You know, if you can prove to Google that you weren't intentionally providing malicious software on your website, but it's, it's a problem and uh, not something that you want to be flagged for. Then they are uh, distinguishing between malicious software and compromised sites. So with compromised sites, they're kind of saying this is more on the unintentional side of things. So they're saying that someone may have hacked in and compromised your website and manipulated your code or installed things on there without your knowledge. And that's still a problem because that can still negatively impact consumers who are clicking through Google listings to your website. And so you're going to get suspended for that. But it's um, a different thing than them saying, hey, you intentionally did this yourself. They're basically saying, hey, you got hacked and you know you need to fix that hack in order to get back online with Google. In theory, Google is saying that they will issue a warning at least seven days prior to any suspension of your account. Now we'll see if that actually happens because Google sometimes says that they'll give you a warning and they don't. So, you know, we'll, we'll see where that goes. And then lastly, Google is breaking out unwanted software into a separate category. And by unwanted software, they're saying not necessarily that this is, you know, malicious or malware software, but it's software that they don't want to, um, to advertise or people to have access to after clicking through Google listings. And they, they list out more information here on their unwanted software policy. It's things like, you know, deceptive software, um, things that trick people into installing it or piggyback on installing other things, um, things that are, are snooping on behavior. Uh, there's a bunch of different things like that. So if you're in the software business, definitely read through this to understand what Google views as unwanted because they won't let you have that on your website if you want to advertise with Google. So all in all, this is not a massive change. It is a nice, I think, helpful clarification and it will help clarify if you get flagged for any one of these things, it'll give you a little more insight into what Google thinks the problem is than currently um, under the kind of the old paradigm where Google's lumping things together. So I hope that's helpful. Uh, if you would like more updates about Google Ads policy and everything else digital advertising, tap the subscribe button and check out some of the other videos that we'll put on the screen here. Until next time, take care.